What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general reading for somebody. So let's see, not the general reading, the what you don't see coming. Taurus. What's up Tartar? Thank you so much for being here. This message could resonate with you if you have Taurus as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. I'm going to see what you don't see coming, Taurus. I'm going to pull two different sides to get two different perspectives. Sometimes it's two different things. Hope you guys are doing beautifully well today. There could be a decision for some of you that you're not making um, because it requires some type of change. Okay, when it comes to your emotions or allowing something or being ready for something. Okay, so just work on that. Try to change your perspective and look at something from a different point of view. Patience. I feel like you 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 have waited enough. I think I told you this before too. All right, Taurus, what don't they see coming? You have strategy, so you're gonna have to make a plan. You're going to be making a plan here, angel of balance. In order to bring balance into a situation here, it could be with a Sagittarius um, or an Aries. Um, you're trying to figure out a way to bring something together. I feel like some of you guys could be stuck. I feel, I feel like you're stuck because you're trying to go about it the same way you always do it. It's like there's something about it that you have to go different. Like go off of off of your emotions go off of how you feel about whatever this is instead of strategically is what i want to say for some of you what is strategy here that taurus doesn't see coming you have the king of wands three of cups in reverse five of cups in reverse page of wands in reverse and the page of pentacles in reverse as the outside energy the problem is here, Taurus, that I feel like you feel like there's people around you or this person. I feel like this is the King of Wands, the energy that you're trying to find a strategic way to plan something with. There's people around you or them that don't have the best intentions. And that's like it's causing this to not kick off the ground. Like It's causing a lot of delays for this to happen. With the Five of Cups in reverse, I feel like you're trying to avoid that like you're trying to avoid that but i feel like there uh, page of pentacles in reverse it's like i feel like there is no way of avoiding that like i feel like there's just people that are just not going to be okay with it and you have to be okay with the fact that people aren't going to be okay with it you know what i'm saying like it's, it's kind of like who cares what you think i'm going to do what makes me happy type of energy you have the page of swords in reverse the three of the three of pentacles and the ace of cups with the higher from here this is what makes you feel good and you not open, I feel like they're saying work on this and just don't tell anybody. Page of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Cups in reverse, like keep it to yourself. Um, yeah, because I, because I feel like there's something about this, Taurus, that it's like you went through a transformation and I feel like you're ready. It's like they want you to go towards this. Could be a Scorpio. Yeah, but I, I feel like your intuition is telling you that this is the fair thing to do, right? Um, I feel like you've, you've recovered enough. I feel like you're ready for this. But with the Empress in reverse, I feel like there's some type of blockage. What is this blockage here? Like you're closed off to it. Five of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Wands in reverse, and the Six of Swords. Yeah, there definitely isn't any communication happening between you and them. Or if it is, it's very little. Um, and I just feel like the less communication that's happening the the more delayed that this gets three of pentacles in reverse yeah uh you got to put work into it if this is something that you want um taurus okay that's just what i'm gonna say because i mean i see you tr um you know trying to come up with a plan but like i said that could be why you're taking a long time making this decision because you're trying to find a way where everybody will be copacetic about it and everybody will be okay with it and um i thought this is a really big lesson for you taurus and where you are you're gonna see that you have to start living your life based off of your your needs and your wants and um 
not choosing so much or not caring so much what other people think. You know, you are ruled by Venus. That's the planet of love, of family relationships. And you care a lot about other people and how it makes, you know, and, and how other people feel about the people who you're around, what you're doing, you know. And I feel like this this situation is going to teach you that this is your life. And once and the people that don't really um, see it the way you do, it's like... <sighs> It's like those, and I'm not even trying to be mean, you know what I'm saying? But you come on this earth alone and you leave alone. So like those people are going to leave and you're going to be stuck living a life that you built based off of what they would have wanted for you or what they would have accepted. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, listen to your intuition right now and go off of your emotions, how you feel. This could be a Libra or an Aquarius. Like you, you're ready for whatever this is. Okay. All right, let's see. Taurus. Taurus. <clears throat> well, don't think she's coming. You have speak your world into being. Okay, so you're going to have two options or two different ways of doing something. Step into your power. Aries energy. Y'all have had Aries all up in your... All up in yourself lately. All right, so... It's going to be two different things that you're going to be deciding on here, Taurus. Um, and let's see. Um, it's really going to require you. But let me, let me, I'm going to say this. I'm like, you have two options, but you on, honestly, you only have one. <laughs> because what I'm feeling is like one of them, um, you really have to like push yourself to go towards it and I feel like it's because you're a little scared and I feel like that's the way you gotta go because fear is the is the indicator that we're on the right path I feel like the other one you could really care less about <laughs> like I'm being honest with you that's what I'm getting um but let's see what's the first option you have the Page of Swords and the Ace of Swords in reverse. So the first option could be Aquarius or Gemini. But whatever, the, it doesn't have to be a person. But whatever the first option is, um, it, you don't have a lot of a clarity on it. You don't have a lot of clarity. I, I don't like the Page of Swords with the Ace of Swords in reverse. Six of Pentacles in reverse. The first option, you're not even getting what you put into it. I feel like you feel confused. I feel like you don't know what's up or down from this energy. So it's like, okay... What is the second option? Bottom of my deck is a three of cups. Could be you reconciling with someone or getting back to, together with someone. You have the knight of pentacles and the lovers. Could be a Gemini. Yeah, the other option is really reliable. The other option is committed. To, is a very committable energy. The other option, um, you share a very strong connection with this energy. That's why you feel a little fearful of going towards it because it's, and how you feel is so strong. But this is a huge difference, like huge difference in between energies. Yeah, but it's like the one that feels the best. There's 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 more restraint or restriction or resistance within that but that's why you have to step into your power and honor how you feel like i've been saying the whole reading go with how you feel if you if you follow your heart if you follow your feelings and your emotions it's going to it's going to be that gas that you need to push you because right now you could be too much in your head with this gemini energy and you should be feeling right now feeling your way through making this decision because you're right one of these two one is definitely better than the other and it's the one that feels more you feel more connected to you feel more grounded to the one that you know is reliable the one that you know has been there the one that you know that will be there for you you know the one you know that you could depend on the one you know that you could trust like it's like i feel like it's not it's not a hard decision i'm gonna be honest with you um but i do feel like it's gonna take a lot of courage and power for you to do this but i feel like you could freaking do it you got this all right, Taurus, all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.